Power 17 bus line. Bonjour. Yeah, hi. Is there a manager or supervisor I could speak to there? Yes, one moment, please. Thank you. You're welcome. We at all? Yeah, hi. I'm calling to make a complaint about one of your drivers. Okay. She just uh, she just tailgated me all the way down the road and then practically almost knocked me right off my bike on when she was driving by me. I went to I went to uh, try and talk to her about it. She opened the window and just started swearing at me in front of a bunch of kids. Not good. Did you catch any uh, unit number or license? One twenty seven dash ten. One twenty seven dash ten. And where about was that? Station Boulevard and Blair Road. She tailgated me right up Blair, almost like she was about a foot and a half away from my bike. My bike is a, an, an electric bike. I'm more off to the side. She's like right on my ass. So if I was to slip or anything, boom, I go right under the bus. Not good. 127-10, perfect. I will, uh, she should be done by 9, 930. I will give her a call to discuss with her because this is not good to hear. Is somebody going to follow up with me on this? Um, yes, yeah, sure. Which number? Uh, 613. Yep. Yeah, and like the same thing just happened a couple of days ago and the guy died on his bike. I know, I know exactly. You know, you know and like... Too much right there. You don't have too much space, especially with the snow, so it's it's very... We, everybody needs to be careful. No, and like, I mean, she should be keep, keeping a safe distance behind the, behind the drivers, especially somebody that's on a bike. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. And uh, we're definitely going to have a chat with her or him. And I'll get back it to was you. A, it uh, was a her, yeah. Okay, it was a her, 127.10. I'll get back to her. Uh, let me uh, find out when she'll be back, and I'll get back to you later on. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the call back from the initial call. The complaint I made was that the bus was tailgating by my bike about a foot and a half. And when I turned right, the bus turned with me. But instead of going to the left to allow me to go by the bus moved closer to the right almost where my elbow was touching the side of the bus I went up and approached the bus driver after she was picking up the kids just up the road and asked her to watch for cyclists when she's driving and she started freaking out and swearing and cursing in front of the children um, now if you listen in the the next call they don't make any mention to her freaking out in front of the children they just take her story against mine and nothing was done now keep in mind this is somebody who is responsible for anywhere from 25 to 30 40 kids on a bus yes sir this is 417 bus line calling you back Hi, how are you? I'm very good. I did speak with my driver uh, regarding the uh, this morning incident, and uh, she was saying a bit like you that there's uh, there's not much room for uh, for anyone actually with the snow. What she did right, uh, she really slowed down, and when she passed you, she checked in the mirror to make sure that you were okay. Mm -hmm. and not okay. No, enough room for you. No, sir. No, sir. That's complete. Well, this, that's this completely is, incorrect. Yeah. Well, I'm saying your her version now. I heard yours, and then uh, I do spoke with her, and that was her version. So I really ask her again to uh, to make so sure. Does, so does so does that mean that my complaint is doesn't mean anything? This yes. woman's driving. This woman's driving in safely around with children in a bus, and you're not going to address let, that. Let me finish my. Let me finish my. Uh, Go ahead. My yes. Okay. So after I hear what you said, I did talk with her, like I promised that I would do, and she was saying again that there's not much room. And yes, she slowed down. But she's lying to you, though, sir. That's Let what I'm trying finish. to tell you. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. And she was watching her mirrors okay, to make sure that there was enough room for everyone. And then she realized uh, when pedestrian and then motorcycles or bicycle, whatever, that she need to, um, to make special attention. And I asked her again to make sure, yes, she did remember our defensive driving course that we went through with her not too long ago. That is part of uh, what um, bus drivers or even cars or trucks need to do to make sure to protect the pedestrian or the cyclist and all that. So she says, okay, I'm sorry if I scared anyone, but I thought I did what I did was right. So she's aware that you're, you're, uh, you made a complaint. I will have to, uh, to leave that her in her file. Every complaint that we have, we need to leave that on this date, specific spot. So uh, we're well, what, with... 
what bothers me though is is that she's just giving you her accounts of the story and you're just taking that for face value and not accepting what I had told no, but for me, no, like I said, sir, for me, it's, it's her version and it's yours. I'm not a police officer, you know, to investigate more. And you're not a police officer, you're her boss. I know, but I mean... If I, I wanted to, to call the police, I would have called the police about it, but I've called I know, you guys. but I need to take both versions. And, and the next, with my, next, my next call is going to be to the press, because this is crazy, man. Like, you, you can't do this to people. She tailgated me to the point where she was about four feet away from my back tire and wouldn't let off. And then when she turned the corner, I moved over to the right. She had the whole road. There was no traffic, no incoming traffic coming. And she moved right over to the point where my elbow was almost touching her damn bus. Just, just calm down a bit because I just... I, hardly... I let you talk. Can I talk? Yes, but it just... It's I didn't talk that it. loud, though. And then when I went up to the side of the bus, well, excuse me, I'm a little bit upset. There was an e-biker that was just yeah, ran over two days ago. Okay? Hearing. So there was somebody that was dead two days ago because of this same type of stuff. So yeah, excuse me if I'm a little bit upset and that you're not taking this very seriously. Now, no, now, now let, me let me finish. Let me finish now. Let me finish. You're telling me that I'm not taking that seriously. You're not you because you're taking her. Okay, let me finish though. The other major, the other major part is, is that when I went up to her on the side of the bus, she was swearing at me through the window with children in the bus. See, again, you've not even addressed that in the complaint when you called me back. And I told you that the first time around. But when, so but, when you, but when you say you've addressed your driver, you never even talked to her about that. I'm, so what you want me to do, to call her back and find her? I'm recording this phone call, by the way, too. Hey, there you go. So, so we'll see you in court then. Hey, day. So not really sure why he hung up after I told him I was recording it. But this type of behavior does have to be addressed because there are children on the bus and drivers should not be acting that way, nor should they be driving unsafely or putting other people's lives in danger. Leave your comments below, like and share the post.